Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for some Battlefield 2042. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about all things with the Battlefield 2042 open beta that's actually going to be happening next week. And the main premise of this is to give you guys everything you need to know about the open beta for Battlefield 2042. That includes the beta dates for early access as well as the open beta. What do you have to do to gain access to the beta and what content are we going to be seeing in the actual beta itself? Unfortunately, we still don't have any new information surrounding Ghost Recon Breakpoint, but there was a bunch of information that came out yesterday about the Battlefield 2042 beta. And I know there's been a lot of excitement around in the community, being the fact that Battlefield 2042 is returning to that modern combat that we all know and love. So with that being said, real quick before we jump into it, if you guys go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would be super appreciated. Also, for those of you that may be new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you do not miss any of my future uploads. Also, make sure to leave your thoughts down below. Are you guys looking forward to the Battlefield 2042 open beta? And are you guys planning on picking up the full game at launch in November? So to break this down, you're going to be able to preload the beta on October 5th at 3 a.m. Eastern Time in the United States. This is going to be the preload time, and if you have early access, you are going to be able to start playing it the following day on October 6th, and early access runs from October 6th through October 7th, and you will also gain access at 3 a.m. Eastern Time. Pretty much everything is going to start at 3 a.m. Eastern Time, as well as the open beta, which is going to be starting on October 8th through the 9th, and then the beta will be actually closing on October 10th. So this is one of the more short betas that I have seen um, pretty much with any game. It's only going to be four days long. And also do take note, you don't necessarily have to pre-order the game to get into the early access part of the beta. If any of you out there have EA Play, you will be able to gain access to the early access portion of the beta. That includes those of you that have Xbox Game Pass because EA Play is a part of Xbox Game Pass. If any of you have any of those things or you pre-order the game, you're going to get access to the early access period on October 6th and 7th. If not, you don't want to pre-order it. You want to wait until you get your hands on the game. You can check out the game from October 8th to October 9th. So with that being said, the devs actually go on to say that during the open beta, their intent is to provide you with the kind of experience where you can focus on enjoying the sandbox. That means that they've made some adjustments to systems and features you will otherwise encounter in the full game. So you'll find that they pre-unlocked a wide selection of hardware, including weapons, vehicles, and gadgets, so that you can make the most of your time that you'll have with the open beta. And this is something that I'm truly excited about because one of the things that I really didn't like about the Call of Duty Vanguard beta was the fact that you had to progress through everything. You started at a level one, you had to go through and unlock all the weapons, you had to grind the crap out of the weapons to get the attachments for the weapons. So with Battlefield, they're going to actually allow you to have a bunch of stuff unlocked from the start so you can kind of mess around with it, feel how the game actually is meant to be played. So speaking of playing the open beta, unfortunately, we're going to only have access to one map and one mode during the beta itself. But with that being said, it is the most popular mode in the history of the Battlefield franchise. So we're going to be playing Conquest on the map Orbital, which is the map that we've seen in multiple trailers that has the big rocket launch going off during the game. As well as you're going to be able to choose from one of four specialists, which is Boris, Casper, Falk, and McKay, which are the four specialists that we've already seen confirmed and they've actually detailed those are quite a bit. There are going to be more specialists at launch, but I'm assuming they're going to kind of save that for us to kind of find out as we play through the game when the game actually launches. But overall, that is going to do it for the video. I wanted to keep this video short and sweet, give you guys all the details you needed to know about the Battlefield 2042 open beta. I will have another video going up later in the week detailing the progression system, as well as some of the new things that they're including with the XP system, the mastery system when it comes to the weapons, as well as the new player card addition to the game, which is kind of similar to Call of Duty's, but I honestly think it's a lot cooler and well-rounded in this game as well as with cross progression cosmetics and all sorts of really cool new things that they're going to be bringing to battlefield 2042 so make sure to stay tuned to channel for that video that i'm going to be putting up later in the week but like i said that's all for the video if you enjoyed it you are excited about the battlefield 2042 beta starting next week make sure to drop a like on the video and also subscribe if you are new to stay up to date on all content surrounding ghost recon breakpoint Insurgency Sandstorm on console as well as Battlefield 2042 moving forward. Also, let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comments. Are you excited about the open beta? Are you pumped to actually finally get your hands on this game? And are you going to be picking up this game come November? Let me know all of that down below in the comments. But that is going to do it for now. Thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.